This is the Art Beauty Podcast, where we tell the real truth about the fake shit. And today, my (laughs) fabulous, fabulous co-host and beauty bestie is Brian Goodwin. He is the international educator for Eminence Organic Skincare. And we met on the New Beauty Live show and instantly, I feel like, became beauty besties. Yes, and it is so good to be reunited with my beauty bestie. I wish it was in person, but we're going to have to settle for virtual. Oh, I know. Now, where are you right now? So I'm in a foreign country called Utah. Oh, Utah. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh. Utah. Utah. Um, I'm, I'm in Utah. I used to travel, um, I was saying this earlier, about two to three weeks per month, um, but we've been grounded, obviously. Yeah. Um, so I've been in Utah just enjoying the craziness that's that's utah it's it's a very fun place hopefully you'll you said you visited before i have so i've been to um i've been to park city i've been to salt lake and i also went and was working on the byu campus Oh, so it's beautiful beautiful um yeah i was doing some work with them uh actually it was just it was just in january we were there isn't it crazy how fast the year though has gone just prior to covid though Oh my goodness, but Utah's beautiful. It what is. It's so pretty. But it does require lots of hydration uh, because we are dry, dry, dry. So I'm gonna be taking little hydration breaks um oh. throughout the entire podcast. Oh, and you have that. And then mm-hmm. I also brought my other hydration. Amazing. Yes, that is an aerial. <laughs> now you know what? Cup. Where in Utah are you? So I live in an area called Farmington okay. and um, really we're sort of famous because we have one of the only um, theme parks in Utah called Lagoon. So if you want to know where I am, just look for the Ferris wheel and you can find me. Amazing. It's like I the love- only Ferris wheel. Now, from what I remember now being my, my New Yorker coming to Utah, <laughs> it was an interesting thing because um, a, a lot of Utah, when you mentioned dry, it's dry climate, but a lot of Utah, um, the, the bars and restaurants are also dry. There are towns and places where drinking is just not a big thing there. Yeah, I mean, that that is a possibility. We've definitely progressed forward with that a little bit, but sure. as far as like, if you wanted to go buy wine, you can't go to the grocery store. You have to go to the liquor store and the bars in order to go to a bar used to have, a, have to have a membership to get in, you which used really, to have to? really is just like a, a complicated way of saying you have to sign a form and say that you're a member and then you're allowed in. But that we do, we do have strict laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's why everybody who I know in Utah, it is like the most beautiful people in the world, yourself included. Like everybody, Uh, it's like, what is it? Is it like corn fed, you know, the fresh air? What do you think it is? You know, I'm, I am not totally sure. I will say though, that we are one of the plastic surgery capitals of the U.S. that, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, No, are you really? Oh yeah, we definitely are. I might have a couple doctors that I stay in touch with every now. I'm just kidding. I haven't been oh, touched. Oh, I'm like, give, give them to me. <laughs> Tell me who they are. I had no idea though that 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 plastic surgery is big there. So you must have some good doctors then. We do. We we have amazing doctors, and I think too the the big thing is obviously like coming from a skincare world, we want to yeah. delay that as much as possible with healthy organic ingredients for the skin. Right. Um, but there's also, there's a time and place, you know, to intervene when topicals, like topicals are not going to completely lift your neck or completely. Or your tits. You, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, Sorry. I, I can't, I can't relate to that necessarily, but uh, no, topicals are definitely not going to do that either. So right. we have a lot of people who come here from California to get work done yeah. because it's also less expensive just in general. So, and the reason, um, sorry, I was getting a little bit cheeky before, but, um, (laughs) I have been honest. I recently had the girls lifted. Um, it cost a fortune in New York. I'm, I can only imagine. So, and it's a slippery slope. Let me tell you, because once you do something and you realize the miracle that can be had with a scalpel, It is a slippery slope to be like, well, maybe we should just take a little bit of this in here and put it back here. And, um, you know, it's like you turn into a quilt. You're like, let's just (laughs) stitch this part and lift this part. 
I mean, I mean, you can almost at this point look like you've had a head transplant if you want oh. to, you know, like have a completely new face. Um, but there, there are ways to topically help with that too, you know, and, and what's even better about that, um, that's up and coming is there's natural ingredients that can help to give instant lifts and instant depuffing and stuff like that too. So. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and look, we're, we're honest here. So much mm-hmm. of what skincare and self-care and wellness is, is hopefully putting off, you know, it, it, maybe even never needing to have to go under a knife. Um, but for those of us who just, you know, want to, it's like, good for you and, and do whatever's best for you. Uh, but I did bring you on here today, not to like get into the nitty gritty of what we can cut up and paste and, and do with our faces, um, but to talk about organic skincare, uh, which I think now, you know, we hear so much about clean skincare, but I think people even more so are looking towards organic, um, like you said, natural ways to help our skin look and feel its best. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Eminence Organics skincare? Because I, prior to New Beauty, I had never heard of them. Well, yeah, it's so we're a professional only skincare mm-hmm. line. So you're not going to find us necessarily in big box stores or anything like that. You'll find us at your local spas and also at major hotels that have major spas as well, carrying us as a professional grade skincare line. So when you look at our products, you know, the first ingredient is almost never water. Like it's just uh, everything that we do is super, super concentrated with the products that we make. Um, But also something that I love about Eminence, besides being natural, organic, is we've got a perfect mixture of where science meets nature. And -hmm. we're combining these, these natural ingredients, but we're also working with trademark ingredients or super advanced extracts that have been proven through science to actually do something. So it's it's an organic concentrated skincare line that's right. professional only. Um, but also what's really great about it is that there's proof that it works. And that's my big thing. Like if I'm going to spend money on it, you better prove it works. That's just yeah. the way things work. And look, we we keep it real here, but it's not it's not an inexpensive line. Um, I know that the editors at New Beauty, you know, I got to talk to them behind the scenes, and they are like, "This is like that little secret that you keep um, because the brand is such a powerhouse, and like they love, uh, like you said, the ingredients. New Beauty is so I feel like results." based and they really look for those products, not just that look good and smell good and look pretty on your shelf, but that actually work. Um, And I have to say, when I started looking to it, your celebrity following is insane. It's pretty big. I I will admit. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Like we get tagged all the time through Alicia Keys, through Kathy Heigl, through so many different celebrities. Through a former princess. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, uh, mm-hmm. we're a, a princess's skincare line and mm-hmm. a queen's. That's a joke. Mm-hmm. And I, I, <laughs> so, yeah. um, and maybe maybe we'll edit that out. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so so yes, we do have Meghan Markle that uses our skincare line too. Um, and so with, with Eminence, what's great about that, you know, we work with lots of makeup artists. A lot of people don't realize this, but Vancouver, which is where our headquarters, our North American headquarters is, is based. Vancouver is known as Hollywood North. So yeah. it's anywhere north of California, it is known as the place where the film industry is. And they film hundreds of films there every single year. Right. And Eminence has been there since the 90s. A lot of people uh, don't realize that. And so we team up with makeup artists that want to use our skincare products on set. Right. Because, you know, recording in HD yeah. reveals everything. Yes, <laughs> it does. I have to say, I I used... Um, I used uh, the the coconut moisturizer this morning. Look, I have it here. Oh, um, it's a good and one. It, it's a fr- it smells so good. I love the texture of this. I love that everything comes with like a little scooper right now too, because you know, living in the times that we are, uh, you certainly <laughs> don't want to be sticking your um, grubby little paws into your delicious skincare cream. But this is so rich. But what I really like about it is it's not greasy. Correct. Yeah. So, so part of that has to do with the the types of moisturizing factors we use in the products. And then to your point, the spatula, first of all, it is sanitizable, but it's the perfect way to get the perfect portion. So if you just dip the tip of it into the product, right. And maybe even take about half that much. Yeah. I, I, I just took a lot. 
it's okay. I am I am an overuser too, even though I've been using Eminence now for almost 14 years. Um, and then what you can do is actually either add in a tonique right. or add in some water and emulsify it to help to deliver it into the skin. Because you can see how rich that is. Uh, well, okay. We are now heading into the winter and I have been probably over using retinol. I think everybody who's been listening to the podcast, you've heard me. I was talking to um, Dr. Dennis Gross about it. And uh, look, I hope you just know I'm like you. If I'm going to do something, I'm not going to do it halfway. I'm just going to like do it, do it, do it, which it's not great. But this has been my saving grace because the retinols are extremely drying. And I find that this um, skincare, it, it it's soft and it's rich and it's delicious and it doesn't burn my skin. Well, you know, something that's very interesting since you love retinol, first of all, I'm going to fo fully disclose, I am an exfoliation addict. I'm okay. one of those people <laughs> that's too. like, oh, I can't see my skull yet. So I'm going to continue <laughs> <know>. to, <laughs> to exfoliate. <laughs> Um, I'm an exfoliation addict and I used to be a retinol addict. Like I, okay. I went to basically AA for retinol, mm -hmm. um, because I come from the background. So I used to work in a med spa, I used to do crazy laser resurfacing on clients, used to assist with surgeries and different right. things. Um, and so my skin though, became so reactive right. from yes. overusing vitamin A, where I would see inflammation and redness and irritation come in. What's so great about that moisturizer, and I swear this is not a plug, you just happen to bring this up. It has a natural retinol alternative in it. Okay. So, so, so it's, it's gonna... not actual retinol. Got yeah. it. What is the, what do you, what is the natural retinol alternative? So it's, it's a combination of two things. There's going to be, it's called chicory root. I'm sure you've heard of like chicory gum or chicory root before. Um, and then there's Swiss green apple stem cells that are in there. And so how this works, the, the chicory root, when it goes into the skin, so this is where that science meets nature thing. Okay. This is a lab tested ingredient. So when okay. the chicory root goes into the skin, it makes your skin cells send false signals of heat or shock to okay. the body to try to call for repair work. So, okay. so interesting thing is like, as our collagen breaks down, as we get older, part of how you repair that is as it's breaking down, you have these special cells that signal that the collagen right. is breaking down and it calls on more collagen to be produced sure. to try to keep the skin strong and plumped up. So when you bring the chicory root into the skin, it makes your skin cells send out a signal of heat and shock. Okay. And it tricks the skin into producing more collagen like retinol. So it's like stimulating no... the repair mm -hmm. response, which we know. Yep. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yep. But there's no peel or heal. So, so where retinol actually breaks down skin cells and exfoliates and, and causes them to shed over, shed over quicker, this does not do that. Wait, so can I ask you, because I did see it says right on the thing, um, right on the bottle, it says that it's a natu natural retinol alternative. But like I said, I too, hi, my mm -hmm. name is Amber and I am an exfoliation <laughs> addict. Um, do you really think you don't need to do a retinol in addition? So, it, Or you want to really, do something like the mangosteen, like the, the, the peel or, mm -hmm. okay. Um, it really, I mean, it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. And it's one of those things where, you know, me as an esthetician, I don't want to step in and take away someone's favorite product. Right. So what's great is, you know, if you love retinol and you love the shininess, because it does, it gives that like sort of shininess or sheen to the skin. And like a waxiness like almost. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which which could be good or bad, depending on how much, how much you're using, but how waxy you, know, you get, <laughs> you and I are, are addicts. Um, so, so what's great is though, you can use the natural retinol alternative to get the collagen boost. Okay. With your normal retinol. And it's not going to over exfoliate the skin or anything like that. And what's really interesting is if you're looking for collagen production and that's why you're using retinol, this natural retinol alternative, it's in clinical studies proven to outdo traditional retinol. So wow. normal retinol after using it for about, I wanna say five or six days on the skin, it's it boosts collagen by about 17%. Right. This is 25%, the alternative. You know, it's interesting too, when we were talking to um, Dr. Dennis Gross, he made a really mm -hmm. good point and said, you know, cause I admitted I was trying to jump to the 1%. And yeah. um, he's like, you know, think about it like this. If you go to the gym, and you do one deathly, just like <laughs> such a hard workout, 
that it leaves you crippled for like the next three weeks and you can't work out again, that's not going to be as effective as if you go and you do a, you know, a workout that challenges you, but doesn't leave you crippled that you can do a few times a week, if not every day. And that he'd rather you use something that wasn't causing that, um, you know, irritation, that peel while still getting the effects. So that's what this is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it is, it's sort of like collagen exercise for your skin basically, but right. without the pain to right. gain. Right. Okay. So, so, and you can also think of it going back to that analogy of exercise. Like I work out a lot, obviously I'm just right. going to, no, you look I great. I, <laughs> I just need to come here all the time. So you can tell me that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, when, if you were to go and work out crazy lifting heavy weights, you would actually be injuring the tissue over and over and over again and your ligaments and um, the collagen, like all of these different things to the point where you would cause an injury that potentially could not be repaired. Right. And the same thing happens with skincare. You know, a lot of us get addicted to peels and to exfoliation and to retinol. We push our skin into a chronic state of injury. Right. And when you push your skin that way, if the skin doesn't have a chance to recover, you actually break down healthy tissue and you age quicker. That's right. part. That's partly why when you, when you use traditional retinol, that you should always, always, always be on top of your SPF application, right. because you are thinning the skin out, injuring it, honestly, and you're opening the skin up to more free radical damage. And that's one of the big challenges with retinol is yes, it's it's an amazing tool, but the tool opens the skin up to all the free radicals that we're in contact with every day, and we have more free radicals now than ever. So if you think of pollution, artificial fragrances and colors, dust, uh, pollen, all these different things. Well, um, blue light, which I heard is also our ring lights. Oh yeah. We're, I'm being hit with so much blue light right now. I, but I mean, I want to look good. <laughs> I know. That's why I got But isn't that terrifying? Lighting. I was like, and then all of our screens, I mean, we're just being hit. You know, you mentioned free radicals and I, I feel like we talk about them all the time. Um, I'd, I'd love to just have a little bit of a refresher for everybody at home, you know, can you tell us what a free radical is? Yeah, I so I think it's a good if we even just start with talking about how molecules in our bodies should be mm -hmm. and what free radicals do, right? Okay. So so molecules should be imbalanced. Like a, a really simple example of this would be like uh, we have molecules all throughout our bodies, atoms. And they should be in balance where electrons are paired. So if we even just like, if I hold my hands up, we should have two electrons that are paired together. And when I encounter different free radical sources, so this could be, like I said, pollution, artificial fragrances, cleaners that we use in our house. Like a lot of people are using sanitizers everywhere right now. Those are free radical sources that cause an electron to become unpaired. Okay. So, so we're getting into the sciencey part of things, but if we, if you use an analogy, think of kids playing with toys. Let's say we have two kids, they each have a toy, they're super happy and calm, but then we bring in a third child and there's not enough toys for all three. What right. is the child it's... going to do? Ah! Yeah, he's going to yeah. well, flip out and then steal from the other child. And then what's that child going to do? flip out and steal from the other child. So that's actually a really good representation of free radical damage is free radicals come in, they steal the toy and then the cell freaks out and says, I need to complete myself. Which right. we could also, we could, we could relate that to relationships too, but that's, right. that's a separate <laughs> podcast. Um, but but the, they step in and the cell freaks out and to complete itself it, or the, the molecule, in order for it to complete itself, it steals from the molecule next to it. Right. But then the next molecule now is Steals. incomplete. And so that pattern or that chain reaction of damage is what leads to inflammation and mm -hmm. collagen breakdown and all those negative things, both internally right. as well as externally. Like we see it in, in our skin in, in the mirror is dullness. We see dryness happen in the skin. We see flushing happen in the skin. We see flaking happen yeah. within the skin. Um, and we also see hyperpigmentation that can come right. up too, which is something that's so tricky um, to yes. treat. So, so free radicals, what they do is they throw the molecules in our bodies out of balance and cause our molecules to need to steal from the next one. Right. And so how antioxidants work, antioxidants could be a vitamin or a component or a chemical that donate an electron to the molecule so that it doesn't need to steal from the next one. So think of it this way. If we have those kids that are flipping out because they don't have enough toys, 
it's like bringing in extra toys. That's what right. the, the antioxidants do. So if you think of like acai berries, or if you think of, um, there's super mushrooms that are out there, what those are doing is they are donating toys right. so that the children stop freaking out. Right. And then or everybody's the happy. Vitamin C, right? So we talk about vitamin yes. C. I don't know if... It, it, if, if um, everybody listening at home, if you haven't seen the new beauty, um, the new beauty live, I think you can find it still on Facebook. We did this incredible demonstration. Do you have this stuff now? <gasps> you do. Oh, okay. Wait, we're going to go through this. Um, this was for the, um, the citrus, uh, the kale. What is it? I used it this morning. That's it's like the I, citrus and kale potency plus E serum. So this is a, it's a very, very high percentage vitamin C serum. Right. It's also paired with some other antioxidants that make it even more effective. So we did, you were speaking to yeah. the, the new beauty would, event. Yes, 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 we yes. We did the, the demo. So I want you to imagine that this is, um, and this is going to be, you know, a metaphor or a visual representation of what happens with free radicals as well as with the antioxidants. So just imagine this is a clean, healthy molecule and everything's good and there's no uh, toxins or poisons in it. What happens when we go out into pollution or we encounter free radicals like the ones that I mentioned, um, this is iodine that I'm gonna be putting into the water. So this is just going to be a visual representation. Just think like you went outside into pollution, you partied too late at night, you partied uh, with some celebrities that have some nasty habits. Um, <laughs> even actually, you know, something else, the topic is vaping. Mm -hmm. that a lot of people mm. don't think about. Vaping causes free radical damage in the skin and in our bodies too. So it it dirties the molecule or it puts it out of balance and this darkness represents cellular waste. So right. as we, when we're young, which both of us are young, right? right? Like just, just agree. We're, we're young, even Ish. if I'm not young, I'm, I'm young looking, right? Hey, um, we're the youngest we're ever gonna be right now. That is, <laughs> Again. That is totally true. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, I'm just thinking like my 22nd birthday is coming. I'm just kidding. I'm going to be oh. 36. Oh, congratulations. 30s was such a great year. I turned 41 um, this year. Bum, bum, bum. You look amazing. Oh, um, well, we want to make sure that, that this doesn't happen, right? And so when we're young, we can clean this waste up really, really well on our own. But as we get older, just all of our bodies processes that are designed to detox and neutralize free radicals, they just slow down so they can't right. keep up with it. So with our skin bringing in vitamin C, and once again, this is a citrus and kale potency plus E serum, you're not going to need this much for your face, but just for demonstration purposes, what it's going to do is this. neutralize those free radicals and stop that chain reaction process. Like I said, that's a visual representation. And the water is clear again. Yes. Yes. And what's really cool too, is if you put vitamin C on in the morning right. and you're out, cause here's the deal. We can't avoid pollution. Like right. when the whole shutdown happened, it was amazing with Utah's air. A lot of people don't know this, but Utah's air quality is horrible. Really? Horrible. So, really? Mm -hmm. So um, I want to say last fall and winter, we were like third in the world on the amount of pollution in the air for the air quality index. That's so weird because I feel like so much of Utah is so mountainous and, but I guess, you know what, when I was driving around, there are a lot of cars on the road. Is there like a lot of factory production? So even though we are high, not like um, Col Denver, Colorado high, you know, Right. right. Um, but even though we're <laughs> high altitude, because we're surrounded by mountains, the mountains trap in all of the car exhausts that you were talking about, but also yeah. we have refineries, factories. There've been a lot of fires that have happened recently. Yeah. And so we were, um, we had a worse air quality index at one point than Beijing, China. Get out, really? Yeah. And so, e and you can usually see it, but even if you can't see it, there's these little particles that are floating in the air coming into contact with our skin. Right. And they are causing that chain reaction of damage that I talked about that then leads to inflammation and then aging. And so if you put your vitamin C serum on the skin, so we put the vitamin C serum into the water, and then you go outside and you encounter pollution or free radicals, like I said, this is the iodine, the vitamin C will continue to protect you. Throughout the day. 
Yeah, and neutralize those free radicals. So it's important that we, you know, A, we apply antioxidants onto the skin before we go outside, but then also when we're done being outside, apply antioxidants again, just to give the right. skin a boost. Like it's really interesting. So we we actually produce antioxidants in our bodies naturally. Right. What's very interesting is humans over time have evolved to not produce their own vitamin C. Really? Animals do, humans do not. So guess how we have to get it? Topically or internally or yes. Yeah. We have yeah. to get it from, from dietary sources or put it on topically. And so, you know, like I said, our, our insides, we do have antioxidants that we're producing, especially the liver, right. uh, which makes sense because the liver is responsible for processing so many toxins <laughs> that are in right. the body, <laughs> especially um, wine and things that- Especially uh, on a Friday morning <laughs> after Thursday yeah. night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And so your, your skin though, it has antioxidant stores, but right. they get depleted. So just think if we had this reservoir full of water, and we're going outside into all these free radical sources, it slowly depletes the antioxidant reserves in the skin. We wanna keep that reservoir full. Right. And so vitamin C is one of the best possible ways to do that. And it just so happens that the, the citrus and kale serum, it's a 16% vitamin C, but it's three different types. Okay, so it's gonna stay stable. Yeah, yeah, that's actually, that's something that's so important, like A, that mm -hmm. you date someone that's stable, good luck with that, but also <laughs> we want we want our antioxidants to be stable. I don't think any of us are stable, let's get real, um, but uh, me either, we're just gonna. My husband is though, he is. But he's like, he's, he's my, he's my antioxidant. He keeps me in balance. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, that should be an analogy. Like find your antioxidant. Oh, I know there's our, there's our precious moment uh, for yeah. the, for the, the podcast. Um, I'm the pro, I, I'm the, I'm the pro oxidant. He's the antioxidant. I don't know. I, I think, I think you're lovely to be around You're my, maybe you're my antioxidant. Oh, Oh, amazing. I will be. Yes. So going um, back to stability. Yes. Yeah. That's uh -huh. such an important thing with antioxidants. So, so let's start with just talking about vitamin C. So right. vitamin C, a lot of people don't know this. So eminence, our skincare line, the origins of it are from Hungary. Okay. Okay. What's really interesting that a lot of people don't know is vitamin C was discovered in Hungary over Get 70 up. years ago, or maybe even over 80, I'm an esthetician, not a mathematician, so I can't do the math on that. But about over 80 years ago, there was a chemist that found in the Hungarian paprika pepper. So, okay. so Hungary is really famous for paprika. Okay. Um, paprika is that bright red color. Anytime you see a fruit or a vegetable that's very bright red, you automatically know that it has a lot of vitamin C. Sure. Pigments yeah. tell us a lot in nature. So this chemist, his name is Albert Zent Gurji. I'm so impressed with myself that I remembered that. I'm so impressed that you just I might have just made that, that as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but he, so when he was looking at the different chemicals that occurred in the paprika pepper, he found ascorbic acid. Okay. And he won the Nobel Prize for that in 1937. Wow. So we actually owe the discovery of vitamin C and what it does to Hungary. Okay. It's, Thank you, it's, Hungary. It's amazing. Yeah. And so, so ascorbic acid is, is the most common form of vitamin C that you can find. Now, what's, what's important though, is when we're using topical vitamin C in skincare, um, is that with vitamin C, we're not just using ascorbic acid. I don't know if you've ever used a vitamin C serum and it stung when you yes. put it on the skin. Yes. Yeah. Or it'll cause like a tingling sensation or you'll flush red. Ascorbic acid is a raw form of vitamin C that right. can cause that stinging or tingling. So it's like we have all these good benefits from vitamin C, but if it irritates the skin, it's not much good. So, sure. so there's a difference between ascorbic acid and there's another form of vitamin C, it's called L-ascorbic acid. And I don't know if you've seen those two. Yes, absolutely. So, so L-ascorbic is what we call chirally correct. So what they do is they take ascorbic acid, they process it through a lab and they remove the components that could cause the irritation and the negative effects so okay. that it's imbalanced and it does not cause irritation. So for myself, I've never felt irritation using no. this serum. It feels, and, and I love, um, it, it almost feels like a, like a, like a, just like a delicious oil when you, when you kind of put it on there, but then it goes in and it like, it, it, it doesn't sit on the skin like an oil. 
Right. It's well, so a lot of vitamin C serums, they feel kind of sticky and tacky. And right. I don't like anything tacky. Right. No, so mm-mm, and mm-mm. especially like for the humid months, that's not good. So this one, it's a it's a weightless vitamin C serum, which is something that I love about it. But it is chirally correct vitamin C, where we've uh, taken out those impurities that could give those negative effects. Gotcha. It's sort of like if you could, let's say that you find the perfect man or a perfect person that you're dating, and then you find out they have these three huge flaws, but most of them is really, really good, right? What if you could just Take pluck those, po- those flaws out? <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing, right? That's, that's actually what we're doing with the chirally correct C. I feel like if skincare, which I mean, by the way, you are such a, like a wealth of knowledge. I love this. Um, but also you could, you could be a dating expert as well. <laughs> I'm really good at looking at flaws and pointing them out. I, I don't know that. <laughs> well, come on. You know, it's like, yeah. what do they say? The, those who can't do teach. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, but but may, maybe, maybe that'll be my next thing. I'll be the new, the new doctor Phil that teaches about skincare and dating or and how they and how they go all day listen overall wellness hey yeah overall wellness you're not gonna get a good date if your skin looks like you're not using vitamin c i'll tell you i do want to say for people at home if and when you try that um kale and citrus um serum it smells so delicious i literally will put a couple drops on and from here to and the girls uh huh. And I'm telling you, my husband will come over and he's like, it just, it's, it smells clean and delicious and sweet and yummy. It does. It kind of smells like a lemon drop cocktail. Yeah. Honestly, oh. like it, it smells so good. And that's another thing. A lot of vitamin C products out there, they sort of smell like hot dog water. I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That's the thing. Like, I just, because well, I, well, like chemical. To- yeah. Well, or like vitamins, like that, a vitamin. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, because I come from that more medical aesthetic background, I used to just suffer through it and use it because I'm like, I know that this is going to brighten my skin and make me look young forever. But if we can have a vitamin C serum that doesn't smell like that and smells like a lemon drop, amazing. And so right. the other thing too, when, when you're using this, you only need about two or three drops. A little goes a long way. For the face. If you're, if you're going below there, you know, you could do six or seven right. now that I've been working out a lot. I need a lot of drops to to cover the pectoralis muscles. Um, oh, look, I used but, it this morning, but look how like it's like a nice sheen. But it's not. I, can you see? It's like a nice a sheen, but it's it gives not a at radiance all gre- to the skin. But it's yeah. not greasy. There's a big difference of like I feel like I'm glowing, but I'm not like greasy. Yeah, it's sort of like if you've ever used those body oils that give you a glow. Some of them make you feel like you were just dipped in Crisco. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas others are more of like a, a dry oil. This is, this is going, there's no uh, real amounts of oil in here, but it's going to feel like that very, very lightweight texture. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you use it, just two or three drops, spread it once in your hands and then press it into the skin. Cause if you do this thing where you drop it on the skin, I'm not going to say that that's wrong. You're just going to need to use a lot more product, but also it, it ends up being messier. Do people do that? It's... They do. Clearly they do. If you're saying that, I would never even think if I had a dropper to like, I think it would be like all over the place. You know, I think it's an Instagram and YouTube um, beauty guru thing that that's happened, which oh. like I said, it's, it's not wrong, but you'll notice like a lot of makeup artists who do their makeup or um, people who are talking about skincare online bef- before they do their makeup, they bring in their serum and they drop it on the skin, but they're, mm. they're either using so much. I'm like, Oh my gosh, that or was they're $20. touching, they're touching the dropper to the face, which is disgusting. <sighs> Ugh, yeah. gross. And I you heard it germaphobe. here. That's not the way to do it. Me too. Well, no, I'm not. I, I'm actually not a germaphobe, but I, but I, but look at the times we're living in, you know, you want to keep as clean as possible. And certainly when you have, um, beautiful products and beautiful ingredients, you don't want to cross contaminate anything. You don't want to get anything right. back in well, there that can like, you know, affect well, it. Well, and I should correct myself. I'm, I'm a, I'm a germaphobe with skincare products and like keeping them sanitary just because yeah. I, I've gone to get facials at spas that don't necessarily carry eminence. And I just look at the products that are set out. And some of them honestly look like they've been through World War III. Isn't like there's. Pro- I'm, so now wait here. Actually, just like, I'm just gonna before cancel. we go, before we go, when, if, do you, okay. Let's say you have an appointment at an uber fancy spot. That's not eminence. Um, 
and you go in and you see something that doesn't look right, do you get up and leave? No, I couldn't. I just think that I would probably, honestly, and I can't believe I'm 41 years old. I should be able to be like, please don't use that on me. I'm so in awe of people who are like, "Mm -mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I I think- think that I just sit there and I like quietly cringe through it and then I go home and I scrub it off. (laughs) I think that, I think that there's almost like a a social responsibility to point it out to yeah. sell. It doesn't have to be the esthetician that's about to do your treatment, but to management or whoever's in charge. Because just think of how many other people are going to have that are going to have that that same experience, and they probably would have wished that someone would have said something. And so i I would probably be like, you know, actually, I'm not comfortable. With this. Yeah. Well, you are a better man than I am, and I think that I should learn to do if there's something that I feel like is is at all harmful or I see something that's really um unsanitary th- then I'm gonna be like uh-uh. yeah yeah well yeah I mean it's one thing if it if things just sort of look out of sorts but if it, if something is obviously horrible then I would yeah I would definitely pair it out or point it do out do you think we're gonna like ever get back to going to spas I miss having a facial and I miss a <sighs> massage and I miss all of those things just you saying those three things, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get to a spa immediately. Um, you know, it it's also state dependent. So yeah. here in Utah, we are doing facials. Yeah. And we are oh. doing skincare treatments and we're doing massage. There's new, you know, like sanitization laws that have been put into place and new checks and balance systems that have that have been put into place. So it's it's different for every state. Maybe you need to make a a quick little trip to Utah. I was just going to say, Brian, call your doctors, book a spa <laughs> treatment. I'm coming there immediately. Um, and, you know, on that note, I do want to say to people at home, because I remember, you know, I've got a lot of friends who work in, in the beauty industry professionally, you know, um, to have your esthetician license, to have your hair license, you actually have to be trained in sanitization. So these are the people who, you know, more so than most really know how to keep an environment sanitary, know how to sanitize their tools there. Um, so you're in good hands. Well, they, and they have specific regulations in place yeah. and they're inspected very, very regularly. You know, I mean, here in Utah, to be um, a master esthetician, it's at least 1200 hours of schooling. And then there's education that goes on beyond, beyond that if you want to learn how to do laser resurfacing and IPLs and different things, different things like that. So it's important to remember. And it's, you know, it's been a point of contention just in general, like, well, we're allowed to go to the grocery store and we're allowed to go to restaurants and things like this, but I can't go somewhere where they've been trained how to actually keep things know. as clean as possible. So, so hopefully we see things start to to open up a little bit more everywhere else. Cause I know that people are just craving being able yeah. to take care of their whole wellness, but also support local businesses. And with eminence, that's, that's another thing, like with us being, you know, a professional only skincare line, we support spas and we really try to point people towards the spas to purchase the product so right. that they can continue, you know, to, to make money during what's, what's um, happening. And honestly, like the, the citrus and kale we were, we were talking about earlier, it's priced at 110 in the, in the world of vitamin C serums. That is not super, super <laughs> expensive. It's sort of like, like middle of the road, but, but right. we've, we've also added other things to it that right bring it up a notch even further. So right. like we were, we were speaking earlier about, um, you know, what are the best antioxidants to pair together for the skin? Vitamin C is good on its own, but we can pair it with other things to make it even stronger or work right. better in the skin. So, so vitamin C, it's very interesting. Usually vitamin C is a, is a water soluble vitamin. Mm-hmm. So, so if I put vitamin C on the skin, I want you to imagine we have our skin cell yeah. And on the outside of the skin cell, this is made mostly of lipids mm-hmm. or fats, okay? Vitamin C actually protects the inside of the cell. Right. So if, if we're only using vitamin C on its own, we're just getting internal protection, but we want to protect the fatty membrane and we so also want to protect the DNA. What is it that's doing that? Vitamin E. Vitamin so, E. Yes. So, yeah, so so we always want an um, alpha tocopherol is a form of vitamin E. It's the most studied. It's also 
been shown to be the most the most stable. So there's vitamin E in here. So when you're using your vitamin C serum, the citrus and kale, you're not just protecting the inside of the cell, you're also protecting the, the outside. outside with the vitamin E. And then to take it further, we've also added ferulic acid right. in here as well. So the so, three, that, that's the combo, C, E, and ferulic. It's, it's the big thing because what you're basically doing, it's sort of like if you were to go get a warranty for your car, but all it protected was the paint and your engine broke down, Right. <laughs> that warranty would not be useful in any way, shape or form to you. So if all we're doing is protecting the outside of the cell, we're really not protecting everything that we need to. And so, so if you bring in C, E and ferulic, the C protects the water, the E protects the shell or the fatty membrane, and then the ferulic actually protects the DNA. Wow. And when you put them together, it's really interesting. Antioxidants are like frenemies. Do you have right. any frenemies? Oh, you don't have to tell uh -huh. me the name. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can tell me when, when we oh, uh, yes, I sign do. up. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, we all have frenemies. So I just want you to think um, vitamin C on its own is great. But when you when you bring it in with E and ferulic, they actually turn into frenemies and they right. compete with each other to fight free radical damage harder. So it's sort of like how you call your friend of me up before you go out for a night with them. And you're like, what are you wearing? I want to see. And you're acting like, oh, you look so good. But really what you're doing is you're investigating just to make sure you can look better than them. <laughs> Isn't I it true? I love you. It is so true. You look Telling amazing. It see like you in a few is. minutes. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. or, or you just, they text you like, how, how should I dress to this event? Oh, it's super casual. Just wear a track suit or whatever. And you show up in. Yeah. Gucci. Yeah. You know, like so mm -hmm. so that's what that's what your CE and Ferulic do. They compete <laughs> with each other to fight free radical damage even harder. Oh my goodness. Brian, you are just the best. I have such a great time with you. Um, you know, for people who want to buy or eminence right now, we said that it's located in spas. How can they find that? Yeah, if you go to our website, we have a spa finder. Yeah. Or spa locator tool. Um, and so all you do is you go on, you put in your address or you put in your zip code and it will locate local spas near you. Right. Um, and then also you do have the ability to purchase direct from us, but in order to do that, you have to choose a local spa to support. Okay. So, so, so we really are the esthetician skincare line and we want to make sure that any any type of sale that we're doing, that funds and proceeds go back to them so that they are able to, you know, have money as a business. Because we all want to support local businesses. They're disappearing. So Absolutely. in order for you to purchase direct, you do have to choose a local spa to support. Um, but we definitely encourage people to go into spas that are open and, and purchase product. For sure. Oh, and hopefully, you know, in, in, in a couple months, this won't even be part of the conversation. Um, but it is so nice to know that you are really looking out for, um, the local businesses out there. And I do want to, you know, we did talk about price before. I want to remind people that, you know, when we're talking about this vitamin C, um, in, in the hundred what was it? One hundred and five dollar range? You said one hundred and ten. Mm -hmm. So, but but remember, it's two to three drops Correct. for your face. Um, uh, this you know this moisturizer a little bit goes <laughs> yeah. a very very long way. So I you know I I I just want to throw that out there because I also having used your products now do feel like this is a brand um, that clearly it, it it cares about it cares about the people it cares about the skin it cares about getting organic natural mm -hmm. ingredients onto our faces. Um, and, and I want to help spread the word because I feel like you're kind of like this, this quiet superstar. Well, we're, we're a skincare company with a mission too, yeah. that, that's beyond just the vanity sake of beautifying the skin. Like, sure, we're going, we're going to get that as well. But with that too, like going back to your point, I mean, that moisturizer, I want to yeah. say it's just above $60 it probably could last you anywhere from four to six months, depending on how much you're using. So if we break down the cost of that, it's like 12 to $14 a month, I want to say. Right. If you think of what's available over the counter at things that rhyme with Schmalmart or right. Yarget. Target, <laughs> <laughs> they, which by the way, I'm seeing costs increase with those things too, but, yeah. but you're talking 10 to $12 and what you're mostly purchasing is filler and not active ingredients or, 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 you know, beneficial ingredients. So like, for example, hydration break. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Get your sip from your, mm. 
amazing, uh, amazing sippy cup. Um, so for example, you know, like with this product, the first ingredient is stone crop juice. Right. And then Which there's most of the time tea. you're, you're going to look and you're going to see water as the first ingredient. So correct. Yeah. And even if there is water in our products, it's usually from a juice or it's a tea or it's something right. like that. That's still beneficial right. for the skin. And it just, it requires such a small amount of product. My, one of my other serums that I use on my skin, firm skin serum, it's a okay. vegan hyaluronic acid booster. Right. Hydration. Hello. We have to have that in Utah. Wait, because we, we are running out of time, but I oh, do yeah. want to ask you this. We are going to have Eminence on the next New Beauty show. Yes. Um, we're talking about the Mango Steen Daily Resurfacer. Can mm-hmm. you just give us like a little preview as to what that is? So it's a cleanser okay. that resurfaces while it cleanses. And you can use it daily. So remember how you were talking about loving that resurfacing effect of your retinol. Right. This does that in such a more gentle way, but also it does it in a product that's full of antioxidants. Okay. And it also boosts the radiance of the skin. So it's a it's it's a one-step product, it's a cleanser that resurfaces, replenishes antioxidants, helps to reduce pore size, and so we'll be talking more about that. Okay, so if you guys want to watch this, this is November 12th. And um, at 8 p.m., go to New Beauty's website and they'll give you all the information or you can check into our sites um, or you can email me, hello at artbeautypodcast.com. Brian, thank you so much for being on with us today. I also, I just wanted to say thank you. I know you have had so many distinguished guests on your show, so I'm so thrilled at the opportunity to be on with you. And also, I know that you yourself are such an accomplished interview interviewer, but also you're an award winner film editor correct oh yeah oh my god you're like going way deep down into the (laughs) but i'm just i'm just honored to be able to connect Um, with you and i appreciate the opportunity thank you so much everyone um if you want to check out this product you can go to what is eminence organic skincare.com so it's eminence organics.com okay great and um as I mentioned, you can find us on New Beauty Live, November 12th. And as always, we will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye, beauty bestie.